nigga right here, cuz. This nigga right here, cuz. Telling you I'm hot. Super hot. This nigga say one word, man. He don't know how we go mad. Mad up in here. Back in this Okay, people, I'm back over here, man, at Velocity, man. Gonna pick up a rental truck, man. Dropped the B off at this, uh, the service center, man. Had to put her in the doctor, man. I don't know. What's up with... Oh, okay, these belong to somebody. Aerolink, Compton, California. This is somebody's personal truck, but this is that, uh... It's that electric thing right here, man. Electric powertrain, man. Day cab. Three axle, man. That crankshaft and drive line looks real thick and chunky, don't it? Look like this disc brakes all the way around on this thing. Slide the fifth wheel. Big old platform. Massive catwalk. I guess underneath that is all that, that power that's needed to pull them, them heavy loads that this thing hooks up to, man. Got another one over here. But I'm here today, man, grabbing a rental, man. They don't have no three axles, man. All they had was some two axles for your boy. Something similar to this over here. Oh, the lady's back there actually grabbing it for me. She said it's ready to go cleaned up. <coughs> Shit, I don't mind riding around in the two axle for now for the work that I've been doing. LTL, light truck load. Uh, a two axle is sufficient enough to get the job done. So, uh... Man, I was hoping to pick my truck up by tomorrow. It's Thursday. Hopefully, be ready tomorrow, like they said, and I can bring this thing right back to them. But they always say Friday, and uh, with the list of things that they said they wanted to do, and a lot of the uh, preventative maintenance things that I wanted done and requested, I don't see my truck coming out of there until uh, Monday to keep it real. Maybe even later than that, man. But ain't no sense to me to stop my money from flowing. Cause the truck is in the shop, man. Especially when I got this account set up at Velocity. I set account up here, shoot, several months ago when I needed a rental and I'm glad I did. Cause I'm able to just jump right back in the truck, man. Reach out to my insurance company, have them switch over my policy to the unit that I'm gonna be using. It's a real easy process, takes a full day. And uh, only thing about it is I need to just stop procrastinating. The, the mornings that I know I drop my truck, normally I take my truck early in the morning. So when I drop it early, this is the unit right here. When I drop that truck early in the morning like that to the shop, I need to be on the phone with the insurance people swapping over the insurance, man, to get a rental, man. But here we go, man, for a few days, man. Jump up in this baby. Let's do a quick walk around while she's in there. Last time I tore up these people mud flaps. Oh, and it is a sliding fifth wheel. That's a plus, man. That is a plus. I may have something to do with some containers. So I need to be able to slide that thing all the way to the back, which it looks like it's already slid to the back. And we're just gonna do a quick walk around, check everything on the truck, you know what I mean? No damage to the body. Tires look good, steps look good. Fuel tank looks good. Catwalk is free and clear debris. Let's go take a look at these airlines, man. Airlines, electrical lines, it's in good shape. Everything looks good, man. Yeah, she good to go, man. It's gonna do the job for the next few days. Hey, rent. I got a pretty good deal on it too, you guys, being that it's a, uh, a two axle. You go ahead and get the... Get some proof of what the mileage is. The mileage is before I leave here. Pretty clean in here. Got my triangles in here. Got a fire extinguisher right here. It is automatic too, man. At least I'm working with the automatic. At least we got some automatic, man. I can get my knees a rest. See how this air is blowing in here. Sir, man, let's get these mirrors adjusted. Old Freightliner, man. Old two-act. 
put in some work, man. Hopefully we get lucky, man. Get one of them shuttle slash hostler ships in this thing for the weekend, man. Oh, man. So you know with these automatics, you got drive. We in drive. Then you got neutral. Then you got reverse. And your jake brake is essentially just pulling this down. Three different gears on that. Oh, let's get the parking brake off. Got him in first gear. That way you can pull back on these things. I know if you don't start off at like fifth in these automatics, man, they be doing too much on the jerking, man. So you can kind of like, you can control what gear you in by pushing down on this. When you push down, it'll take you in the lower gear. When you pull up on it, when I'm pulling up on it, as you can see, it's taking me up, man. So I like starting off in fifth in these automatics, man. We good to go. Let's roll, man. Let's roll. Let's roll, man. Definitely got to have an automatic, man, when I purchase my next truck. That's for sure, y'all. That's one thing about these automatics, man. The truck controls you. You don't control the truck, man. All the really control you got, I mean, you can shift the gears with this thing. You know what I mean? But I don't even bother, like I say, until I'm like from a stop and start position man I like to start off in fifth like I said because if not it'll be jerking you around now when you load it heavy you're gonna let it do its thing from first to second or whatever start off in second depending on the weight of the load but uh just feel good to have your business in order man where you can just keep right trucking man I've been down for a couple days but really that's my fault like I said the mornings that I do decide to take my truck to the shop man I need to be having this already in place with the you know, uh, the insurance being switched over man transfer from my truck to whichever rental unit I'm gonna get man just to stay you know keep it pushing and keep it moving man I wasn't even gonna get it today man just like discouraged the loads and the rates is so crazy but I mean you know a little money for the day is better than no money you know what I mean Y'all got to understand that, man. If you a grinder, you a grinder, man. If you ain't making thousands a day, you're making hundreds in a day or whatever it is, man. If you're normally making five, six hundred a day and you can only make two or three hundred because you got to rent a truck or whatever the case may be. If, you, if your profit is being cut into by something as opposed to just your truck being down for a few days, man, you'd be a fool not to go get the few hundred, man. And just accept the little profit margin negative, you know what I mean? I mean, at least that's the way I grind, man. Something is better than nothing, man. Sometimes my wife be having to remind me of that. Like, nigga, uh, anything beats a blank for the day. You know what I mean? So we out here, man. This is automatic, man. I need a couple hours and it. it's gonna get some used to, get, take some getting used to not down here floating. You know what I mean? You just get on the, on the pedal, breaking gas and roll, man. Feels good. Feel real good, man, up in this freight shaker, man. Two axle, imagine that, man. And I got a two axle. I can't do nothing with the two axle. For one, the insurance. I don't have a driver, I got my son, but we waiting for him to get up on his two year anniversary before I can add him on the insurance. And the cold part about it is I trained him in the Bumblebee as far as with a manual, but he done been over there working with CRST and he done got spoiled by driving around in the automatic like this every day. So, I ain't mad at him riding around Los Angeles County every day in the rig. If you work in local, man, you definitely want an automatic in this traffic, for sure. But I'm just saying all that to say, we do have a two axle truck, Snow. If you don't know, I got some old videos on that, but right now I'm just paying for parking and the truck is just sitting, man. But what I do plan on doing with that truck is, when I do find a, another good, uh three axle used truck automatic once my son gets to his two year uh anniversary with his license man we will be trading that in for a three axle automatic freight shaker or volvo or something like that something a lot newer a 20 21 or something like that automatic so he can get out here with me and do his thing too man get him up away from crst and get over here with trucking three ways you know what i mean but uh it just limits you. The two axle just limits you from the amount of weight that you can carry instead of your gross vehicle weight being at 80K. Uh, I think these is rated at, uh, what, 65,000 pounds. 
and uh, majority of the stuff that you do or would would be doing with Amazon, they trailers are nowhere near that heavy, man. You know, I'm not gonna be going over no grave. I'm gonna just do some little local stuff for the next few days, fooling around with Amazon's low boy, just to keep some money coming in. Like I said, hopefully I can get lucky and catch one of their emails or get some phone calls from them, like they've been calling me the last few days to uh, cover one of those uh, shuttle slash hostler ships. Man, that'd be a plus, man. I got to share the good, the bad, and the ugly, man. I can't do nothing but laugh about this because I feel like the most high was talking to me before I even came and got this truck. Just sit tight, chill out. You've been working like a dog day and night, man. Just wait till your truck is finished, man. Chill in the pool, man. Go to the beach, man. Go hiking, man. You know what I mean? Go do something like that. Wifey, Chetty Child, they gone across the map, man, with family to a wedding or whatever, right? But I'm just saying all that to say, God, hang up, man. I ain't even made it to the house. I was on my way home, man. And I'm glad it happened to me, you know, right now, as opposed to if we would have had a load behind us. It's the second time I done rented a, uh, a unit from this place. The first time I was changing fuses every five or 10 minutes to keep the lights on. Got a wheel spin light on and the ABS light on. The unit then turned off on me twice, man. I'm thankful, very thankful that it has started back up. I let the young lady know that I'm on my way bringing the unit back. If they don't got a brand new truck for me, I don't want it, man. We just gonna cancel the rental, man. Real, like, look, all kind of lights is coming on in this thing, man. Look, it's trying to, it turned off on me right now, guys. Look at that. It turned off on me right now, guys. <laughs> It's crazy, man. It turned off. Look, it keeps turning off, y'all. This is crazy, man. I don't even want no rental now, y'all. They can they can have it back, man. I done spent $150 with my insurance company transferring, like I say, my uh, insurance over to this rental and then turned off on me four times, man. I done drove six, seven miles away. I don't want to hear nothing about no mechanic or none of that. If they don't got a brand new truck for your boy, I don't want it, man. Cancel it, man. I done paid $40 to Uber over to this damn place, man. So I got to jump back in the Uber to get home if they don't got a brand new truck. And even if they do got a brand new truck, y'all got to give me the same rate. I done spent my money coming over here in the Uber. I done spent $150 transferring my insurance over. Like, man, this is cold-blooded, man. This is cold, man. I should have followed my first. Most highs told me to rest. Most high told me to rest and wait. I should have rested and waited, man. This thing don't shut off on me again, man. I just need to make it back. We need to get back, y'all. I'm fitting to get up in this middle lane, man. But I still got to take it easy, man. I can't hit nothing or damage anything while it's in my possession. But this is whack, man. I would have hate. Can you imagine something like this happening to you? A damn truck turning off on you and you got a 40,000 pounds, 30,000 pounds, whatever it is behind you. An empty trailer behind you, man. I'm hot as fish grease, man. I just want to share this with y'all, man. But I'm on my way back over here, man. They don't got a brand new truck for me, man. I just, I'm, I'm good. I don't want no truck. Definitely can't come back here, man. It's the, look, it's turning off on me again. Let me put it in neutral and see if I can keep it on. Keeps turning off on me, y'all. I'm coasting right now. Let's see if I can get this piece. I'm coasting right now. She started up, y'all. It started up. Y'all hear it? This is what your boy going through, man. You can't panic. I can't panic. I'm going to keep him in neutral, man. This is sad, man. I don't even know why they do it. Why do they rent units like this, man? I don't understand it, man. I'm hot, man. I'm just I'm sharing it with y'all, man. This is what I'm up against, man. It's vicious, man. This truck and shit is driving me crazy, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. And you would think you wouldn't be having no issues out of this damn truck, man. It ain't but what? 243,000? Oh, look. She's setting off on me again, y'all. 243,000 miles, man. I just need to make it back, man. I'm glad I ain't on the freeway dealing with this, man. I'm coasting right now. Bruh. Stop it. Get some help. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for your boy, man. Come on, man. Get me back. Get me 
back. Let's go. Get me back, man. Damn, man. But like I was saying, ain't but a couple hundred thousand miles on here. This truck is pretty much new, man. It's got problems with their maintenance. Now, it's like I said, I see why they're giving me a deal and shit. Talking about they struggling with renting out the two axles. I can see why this one, you know what I mean? It's the second time they done did me, man. It ain't gonna be no third time, man. I'm gonna have to go with Penske or a Rider or something like that. But Velocity, man, thumbs down to Velocity Truck Rental, man. And the mother two, it was two more units there, two axles, man. Why they have big red stickers in the damn window talking about in for service, man? That's crazy, man. Okay, I hope they still there so I can show you guys that. Man. They need to put the red sticker on the window on this one, man. Because this one need to go in for service as well, man. This is crazy, man. And I almost booked the load that picked up right around the corner from where we just picked the unit up at. Only reason I didn't pick that load up is because I need to get back over to the school. Like I said, to check on the roofing guys. And they, they made a mess in the school. So it ain't their job to be cleaning up. I need to get over there with my vacuum. Man, this piston turned off again, man. This piston turned off again, man. If I ain't got nothing else up out this truck, man, I got some good content for y'all, man. Some good raggedy trucking content, man. From a truck rental leasing place, man. You know what I'm saying? You truck me in the shop. You try to keep it pushing, man, and be professional and and, and stay with your with your uh with your truck and going strong. And they renting out buckets like this, man. This is unreal, man. I just need to get back, man. I'm just this traffic, man. I'm so agitated and frustrated right now, y'all. Who wouldn't believe, man? But I gotta let this just roll off me. I gotta let it roll off me, y'all. I gotta let it rip. They ain't got a brand new one over there looking like that damn electric one we was looking at. Ain't gotta be electric, but if it ain't new, if it ain't new, if it ain't still got plastic on the dash and looking like this, I don't want it, man. This is a 2017 with 200,000 miles, man. And then they got a whole bunch of them, a whole row of these old freight shakers lined up in front of the place, man, for sale, man. Never buy a truck from them, man. I see how it is with the rentals, man. This is this is unreal, man. I gotta go take a look at their reviews, man. I gotta go take a look at their reviews, man. And I'm not the type to really be leaving bad reviews. Like that's like some whole shit. Excuse my language, man. But I gotta go. I gotta go let the people know, man. Beware, man. Because I should have been checking the reviews, and if you know, you just sometimes them reviews that uh, save you a headache, man. And this is a headache, man. Show y'all what I'm talking about, man. Bucket ass trucks, man. Bucket ass trucks. Oh, these see these two? It's three of them right here. This probably was in line with them. But you look at that, look. And red stickers here for service. Prepped for rental. What a bitch. This one. Here for service. I don't even want no rental, man. I'm going to just rest and take a break. Do some working out. Chill out the house. Hang out with my dogs, man. Watch some games over the weekend and chill. I done already ordered my Uber, man. I'm getting out of here, man. They can have this sucker back, man. I'm done. I don't want it. It's unfortunate that you can't have some people to do good business with when your truck is down. But I'm cool, man. I'm glad I made it back. Safe and sound, man. All three of them got a red sticker. I might as well go on and grab a red sticker for that one as well. My ride is on the way. I wasn't even tripping off of it being no two axle. So I was cool with it, man. It ain't for the show. It's for the dough, right? It ain't going to be no dough for me, man. They can't give me this right here, man. Or something like it, brand new. I'm cool, man. Look at all that, man. Just They renting buckets up here, y'all. This nigga right here, cuz. This nigga right here, cuz. Tell you, I'm hot. Super hot. This nigga say one word, man. He don't know I would go mad. Mad up in here. 
back in this school, man.